Hey guys, it's HMM here, myself here, and today I'm bringing you another tutorial on how to get the wolf bow in Durais and Draco, which is the upgrade for the Wrath of the Ancients bow. The first thing you want to do is click on these paintings, they are always in the same order, and as you can see on the, on the screen right now, I'm currently showing you whereabouts they are in the map. So the first one you want to actually click on is one where, like a knight or a king, is sat beside two wolves, and when you know it's the right one, you'll hear a nice strumming sound. Well, it's kind of out of tune, but still. Then the next one will have to be the knight on the uh, the horse with a Spanish flag. Then it's like the shadows of evil thing, like with the tentacles coming out the sky, like hentai and stuff like that. And then we have like a Russian man riding something. We do not know what it is, but, you know, it could be anything he wants it to be. So as soon as you've done this, you'll have to come down to the pyramid room, come over to the side on the stairs where you get the Wrath of the Ancients and pick up your broken arrow so the next step of this like mini easter egg thing you want to travel to the rocket shipyard or whatever you want to call it i have my own like name for this place but you want to travel travel there and shoot this red flag which will be up on the top as you can see uh, right now i'm i'm trying to make some crawlers and it's kind of hard to do but you know you know still uh still swaggins still swaggins but as you can see i'll uh, i'll be Pointing, pointing to it in a minute, which will uh, and it will show you whereabouts it is just up there. And we want you want to get a direct hit, and as soon as you get your direct hit on this uh, this flag thing, a skull will, will like roll down this hill, as you can see. A skull will like roll down the hill, and um, you ha all you have to do is pick it up. So, pretty much when you've picked this uh, this skull up, you're gonna have to return straight back to the pyramid pyramid room. Which be a lot, which is where you need to place it at the altar for the the wolf bow or the king's bow, whichever one I call this bow. And when you place it at the altar, there's two dog heads to the side. As you can see, I struggle placing it and don't know what I'm doing. But there's two places to the side. There's two dog heads, and you want to place the skull on both dog heads. I think it's both or one of them. And a dog or a wolf will appear absolutely out of nowhere. And pretty much what you're going to have to do with this with this dog is follow him around until he stops and digs his own um like digs a little little, little tiny hole when you finish doing that when he's finished digging the hole it, it will require you to actually collect souls for from zombies so pretty much all you have to do is pretty much kill zombies around this hole and then when you finish killing killing zombies around the hole you're gonna have to go up to it press square or x and it will uh it will pretty much tell you what to do so let me just talk about this bow for a bit whilst whilst you see this bit of gameplay it, it's it's an alright bow, it's not that bad, but I don't recommend it. If you're going for high rounds, I really don't recommend this bow. If you're looking for a bit of fun and trying to complete the easter egg, then yeah, go for this bow. But if you're not, then nah, this, is, this isn't the bow for you. And also, if you do, you will see in this game that I do have some problems with, uh, with this kind of, with losing the dog. As you can see, at the end, I lose this dog and don't know where the hell it's gone. This is really simple if you do lose this dog all you have to do is go back to the altar click on the uh, on like where where it's supposed to where you're supposed to place it and it will it will literally the dog will come up and go straight back to where you were before it's that simple that he will go literally straight back and you will have to not waste any more time it's that simple I think this this is probably one of the most easiest ones to actually get because it's not that hard and to be honest it's it's kind of like you know you get what you what you were given like you get what you asked for pretty much because it's not it's not the best bow ever i i still haven't yet to get the uh void bow or the magma bow but i, I this is this is this is bad this this bow is really bad not that many people will use it to be honest it's it's like they i think they try to decide like make a little thunder gun but that's how it's that's how it's used pretty much it looks like a thunder gun but Nah, it, it's on the good boat. But with this dog, it will give you an in, in, in three locations. It will uh, show you about where to go. And as you can see now, I'm following it down to the uh, the pyramid pyramid room, where it will go up to the uh, like the thing again, like uh, outside the pack a punch. But as you can see, just as you saw there, I placed back to the order because altar because I actually did lose the dog. So as you're gonna see now, I'm just killing. I'm gonna try to kill like all the zombies around around me and pretty much get collect load of souls but you know this this is one of probably one of the most easiest uh 
easiest bows to get, like I said. And it's not it's 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 not the best. So hmm. But anyway. As you can see I'm just kidding.